Well, there you have it. Right, so I wanna go back here and try and find out who this was. Oh, there we Just go. look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. <laughs> Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your lady. You didn't use her powers. You I just order you showed out. Rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Oh, on those beds, my lord. It's like wooden. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some life. I'm surprised she did, to be honest. The question is, where is he now? Been taking the wayload, I'd assume. I was, that. Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Hmm. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. I wonder if he had any side the quests. Woodman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. Yeah, I want to know what the fuck's happening with Total War 2, to be fair. That before. I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is what happens afterwards. It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill. Yeah. Right. Let me know if you We need to let our good boy exist do. and not become crystalline. Do you see me? Maybe he can't be because he's a dog he's a good boy. He's a doggo. Jill. Listen to Taya. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Yeah, don't don't go and get yourself killed, Joel, please. We need you. The Joey name is now left. I liked. I, I. It lasted for a while, but I just can't keep it going. All right there you have it. Bolts up from the blue. Oh yeah! Oh, we have like a wind-up attack. That's cool. I don't know what can be used to prevent, fend off most incoming attacks. Ah. So with that in mind, and the new ability we've gotten, I actually want to equip Titan. Yeah, we have three more, and if they're the ones I think they are, they're Shiva, Odin, and Bahamut. So yeah. Oh, there he is. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this asshole. <laughs> we got upheaval. Oh, that's kind of more of a downheaval, to be honest. Oh, it's a QTE. What the hell did you see that? You have to press it at a certain point, that's cool. Okay. I mean, I'll, I won't buy anything for this yet. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. I like that we've got, we've got an ability for that. That's, that's nice. I kind of want to upgrade my limit, but let's do this. Why not? I don't know what this is going to do, but we've upgraded it. I kind of wish the game would tell me what that what the upgrade meant. But yeah, I'm glad I got it. Also, what's this then? Urban Fury. Oh! Oh my god, we can use upheaval. Oh, we can use landslide. Finally! I could be the one who uses landslide. So you don't know in 14, uh, there are two Titan bosses. The first one isn't actually that bad, but the second one, like way later in the game, and it's optional content, is one of the hardest fights in the whole game. He uses like landslide every like two seconds, and you have to do these almost second perfect uh, dodges to avoid them. And there are so many different combinations he uses, and they're all based around knocking you off the platform and if you get knocked off you die instantly so yeah I'm glad we now have this that makes me very happy <laughs> oh there's a bunch of new things available now huh uh okay I mean let's talk to Otto I guess before we do any of this hey buddy Otto is now a good time <laughs> It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Bet, fine. You did get kidnapped, but she's good. Is making sure she gets the rest she you almost got a heads up. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gone back to Wayload. Right. Well, not back to Wayload, but he's been taken to Wayload. Considering the arrival of that person. Uh, but Clyde? fucking Ashley from Resident Evil 4? Who the hell are you? 
Mid. When did you get back? Oh, is that Sid's daughter? Just now. What about your studies? I okay. think it is, yeah. Or is it skills? Fucking <laughs> model from area. Resident Evil 4. <laughs> yeah, she is the she is the kid. Uh, wait, well, no, her name is Middle Telemann, which is different to Sid's last name. But she could be young enough to be Sid's daughter. Uh, Federation of neighboring independent cities say it's okay to the southeast of the Dalmakian Republic, while originally part of Dalmakia. The city achieved their independence in the year 857, hoping to step away from the Republic's internal struggles and focus instead on the commerce upon which their prosperity has been built. Political power currently resides with a council of guild masters, prominent Canvarian traders and craftspeople. The lack of a dominant or more crystal to covert only with its considerable financial resources allows Kevin to retain both its independence and neutrality in the face of considerable turmoil elsewhere. As such, it lacks a standing army, defense of its wars have been relegated to a small yet well trained city guard. So if Dalmakia was like, we want this area, they could just take it then, similar to what Sam Breck did with Crystal Dominion. Although I guess there isn't really a benefit to taking this place as opposed to, to Crystal Dominion, which has the biggest crystal in the, in the entire area. It'll be us next. Hey, fuck. You try concentrating with all of that. Whoa, 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 what's happening? All right, you win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. Look how long her ponytail is. It's so long. You could use it as a rope. <laughs> Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. Oh. Who's that? Oh, Vivian. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. Oh, okay, so she was once her student. Of of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I wouldn't, for sure. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. I had a moogle. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. All right, well, you, I, you can get on that. I'm gonna stay here and do nothing. <laughs> Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Oh, what's happening here then? Huh? Oh, it's the um. You all of that? Hey, man. Fee for bringing mid across. She said you were. Oh no. Little. Yeah, let me get out of here. I don't need to be involved in that conversation. But before I go and yeah, before I go talk to her, there is actually stuff I want to do. Uh, and that involves going to the law guy and looking for more law, but also heading to my table. Look at the letters I have. Uh, because I want to try and work out who that guy was who took Hugo, and I think I might have an idea as to who it was. Yeah, well, Jill was almost killed in Rosaria, so it makes sense that she would be a little bit weak. And also, she's just been fighting constantly over the last few hours, so it's not really a surprise. Yeah, there we go. Good old Hugo. And yeah, we've also got this level. Those are left. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Kupka will wish, never wish he never tried to fight me, to be honest. Tone says he's looking for books about Torgal. <gasps> I know. Let's write one. Yeah, can we find out what's happening with Torgal, please? Also, hey, Gav. Find out anything about Torgal. You'll be the first to know. All right. He's a good boy. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? Mid. Young Mid has always been too clever by half. From the moment of her very first steps. She would roam the hideaway, tearing apart everything she laid her little hands upon. But it wasn't until, yeah, back there, uh, I still realized the store had been blessed with truly special talent. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, then Sid squandered. He followed his pride and sent Mid to the university in Canva to study under the free city's finest mechanics. That was one on, on her 11th name day. We have reaped the benefits of her studies ever since. Her inventions are part of our daily lives here to hide away, even if she herself is not. As to why she has stayed away. I would hazard on the part of her, simply afraid. Afraid that coming home will remind her too much of what she has lost. Well, Sid is an amazing man, so I can see why she would be sad about that. Did you know? Tetsu and Crow's parents are both bearers. 
having having lied so long in a world where so much was denied them, it could not have been easy for them to find love. But once they had. Oh, how brilliant did it burn! A love that only burned bright for once. Ted and Cot was there to bask in it. To share Until it. Until it was taken away. Oh, plunging the twins into a darkness no man or woman, let alone sh child, should ever have to face. A poor doubt ever hang over us. Some of the man who casts it walks free. Yeah, we'll, we'll be dealing with Sylvester as well. You've read this particular chapter before. It's always sad. Sad day. Oh, we didn't get a lot what for that. Subject shall we consider today? Uh, mainly just life itself. <gasps> Dark. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, p people of interest. Okay, so it was Barnabas I wanted to look at because Barnabas had a colleague. Here he is. This man, he accompanied his liege to Fort Sinestra in the Republic of Alamekia to negotiate the provisions of order. Mm-hmm. This is also a white-haired man who was with Barnabas. And I'm wondering what the hell is going on with him. Yeah, in the long run of things, but here we go. Chief of the Northern Territories and Jill Wark's father, and his homeland's raids into the desire were finally quelled by the duchy. His daughter was taken as a ward of the Rossfield family to ensure they would never raise arms against them again. Oh. Interesting. Yep, who invaded piling forth misery. Well, we don't know where Annabelle is. I guess she just kind of left after this happened. Like, we know she was here, but she was just kind of like, yeah, I don't need to be here any longer. And then they had to siege of Rosalith. Still got all these two pages to go to yet. Capital of the Free Cities of Canva, located at the tail end of the Titans Wake in Southeast. I wonder why it's called that. <laughs> it is a hive of mercantile activity where one can hardly move for the trade transacted on nigh every cobbled corner. Also, we got this. Oh, quarrels are different. There you have it. Okay, right. The door to the shelves. So we know who it was. It was the High Commander of their army. Talker. Wait, it's a it's a it's a tall gal. I thought it was tall girl. Oh, I feel like that works better with the Fenwyn mythology that he, that it would be a U instead of an A, but that's fine. Ooh, I can't wait to see what Mid's going to build us this time. Build you? Well, she's like a mechanic. Also, I am glad that Mid is not a uh, fucking Cindy. <laughs> Makes me happy. I know people love Cindy, but I don't. Homecoming. I apologize for what happened at Rosalith. I fear what may have been had been not I fear what might have been had not you, Gavin Torgal, fought so fiercely. Once again, you were there when I needed you most, and for that I shall forever be grateful. Seeing the city I had once come to know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has left me such sadness in my heart. But the time for looking back is beyond us. We must focus on the here and now. Our memories will be waiting for us when this is all through. Hope so. I wonder if, if uh, this game is very popular, which, by the way, this game has already sold 3 million in the first week, which is incredible. <laughs> For a PlayStation 5 game that has just come out, Ragnarok sold more, but that also came out on PS4. Uh, it's amazing, and I know Square's gonna be like, it's not high enough. It, it is. It's really good for the series. And I'm glad that the game is doing that well. But I maybe I do hope, even though they said the game would be complete at launch and they wouldn't they were weren't planning on doing more to it, I do hope we might get DLC for it. Or at least the post game to some extent. Because I think there's so much more of this world we can squeeze out of it, not just the, the story. I, 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 I don't want it to become an F7 situation where there's too many side games for it, but I do want, you know, maybe even graphic novels based in the in the world, anything that allows us to stay here longer. Ah, my favorite pupil. Mid. We met under curious circumstances. I think it is sad to say it was during my time at the university. I had returned to my lecture hall to collect some notes and discovered Mid crouched under the lectern, sketching some design or other by candlelight. It transpired that she had fashioned a key and had been used in my classroom as her own secret study, a place of quiet refuge from overzealous tutors and the like. Naturally. I insisted he leave. But mid being mid, she refused to take no for an answer, and before I knew it, I had not only allowed her to continue her late night studies, but had agreed to take her on as a pupil into the garden. 
but I soon wish I hadn't. Her refusal to refer to authority was no less evident in my lectures. Was this my reward for years of painstaking study, I wondered? To be teased and tormented by some oil-stained stripling who seemed to delight in my discomfort. Still. Our time together was not entirely disagreeable, not least because it was she who unearthed the plot against my life and encouraged you to come and whisk me away to safety. And so I came to take refuge in your base of operations, just as she once did in mine. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Allow me to educate you. Kupka makes his move. You went to go attack them. We came and also Wayload came. Uh, but the Medivoc were also still there. But we have no idea where what happened to them during this conflict. We just know that they disappeared. And that these guys all retreated. But you can see that. Oh, the Imperial Army was retreating during this period. We deployed into the Crystal, Domin Crystal Dominion. So they went, they left to go to the Crystal Land Dominion then. Okay. The state of the realm Which probably isn't good for, for the war minute. happening there, because they're getting all their reinforcements back. Ah, oh, Torgal. Wait. Hey, Gav has a, has a name, game. Rescues, rescues, rescues. Will we have the rescues next to her now? Best friends. Yeah. Travelling Companions, Dion. Right, okay. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. Also, Moogle. Hey, Nectar, how's it going? Oh, oh you got more ventures for me, Nectar. Oh, did I ever tell you about the time I toured the Northern Territories? I trust you wrapped up warm. I didn't know such a thing, Koopo. We Moogles don't feel the cold, thanks to our exceptionally fluffy fur. You humans are the only animals up there who feel the need to dress up in the furs of those fluffier than yourself, Creepo. Yeah, could we die otherwise. In fact, that's precisely why I ended up curling my tall short, Creepo. My kindly greetings to the locals are made with a volley of arrows. And I make a much better hair than I do a hat, Creepo. <laughs> who would try and skin a Moogle? I mean, that adds in the quest, and I should probably ask, to be fair. Oh, we do have a new thing. Okay. A muddy murder. That's probably one of the goopy guys, isn't it? I would not be surprised. Right. Muddy murder. Uh, so that is the southern reaches of... Southern reaches. Oh, it has become very crusty again already. Orcs cry cliff. Okay, we'll get on that. Wow, that, that did not take too long for the game to get crusty again, huh? Well, let me give me a sec while I fix it. Right. It's weird that it does this occasionally, but I do have to go back into the settings and fix it sometimes. Right. Hey, Mid. I don't know if your name's a reference to Midgard Sorma. It isn't. He has an actual last name, but I would like to think it is. Shouldn't you be getting some rest here? From what I heard. I mean, I can't rest. I mean, I I myself could rest, but not Clive. You took your time. I did actually. <laughs> busy man, mid. I'll get to the point then. Wonder what would happen I if I came here like earlier. A workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And I've been thinking about it for a while. She has the same accent as him too. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. He told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. Gonna turn this airship into an actual flying ship. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me neck to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. This sick could see you now. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Wait, what? For me? Why am I doing stuff? Who else? I mean, there are people. I, I got. I, I'm busy trying to save what? the world, mid. I can't help you build your. First things first. Your lab down there. And materials to start making my own. Okay. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. 
Apart from the wood. I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <laughs> right, okay. I get into work, yeah. Not like we just fought a semi-primed Hugo or anything. Where to start? Uh, yeah. Means Karen and Blackthorn. Yeah, we need to get some bits and pieces, don't we? Oh, new crafting recipe available. Although I guess maybe I need actual visas or stuff like that. Oh, is this a case where I, it, the game's encouraging me to do side quests so I can get the resources? Well, we've done a bunch of side quests, so it yeah. should be fine for the most part. I've never, been up to we, we knew about mid because of a side quest uh, in the first part of the game. Jill. They were looking for uh, Sid, Sid's letter, and the guy said that it was a letter from his daughter. So obviously he wanted he wanted that. Hey, Cowan. I was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Oh yes, I have. Just now. Many. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Uh, the noxious vapors are spilled from the cracks around a certain door in Sid, in Sid Ulfus's Telemann's Deadlands hideaway would sing their eyes and burn the nose of anyone who strayed too close. Combining every good on this list would no doubt produce a similar result. Well, we're doing it because his daughter wants it and I feel like we kind of owe her for everything. Think you can find everything on there? He's basically our daughter. This lot. Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. <laughs> if it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the oh, life out of us. Oh, so she's ago. helped us a lot then. Indeed, it would. In the past, I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. All right. Thank you, Karen. Oh, you are definitely not a coward in this situation. Right. Okay. Here we go. And what can I do for you? Well, apparently you've got stuff I can buy. Uh, it's not better. That is better, though. It is better I'll be here. So we've got these two songs that I'm not paying for because they're too expensive. Want well, me to get a game, you should make it less expensive, shouldn't you? I'll find a better price than that. It is better I'll be here. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, Blackthorn. Blackthorn. You busy? What's it look like? You're always busy I though, you're doing blacksmithing. From mid. Hmm. She requires certain tools. Uh, sketches of ineffable devices, namely seemingly drawn for pages of a mad alchemist notebook. And a list of the equally exotic alloys from which such things are smithed. Hmm. Here you go, enjoy. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Might be. Yeah. We'll see what And there won't be a Final Fantasy game well, without an airship, when I'm done. so we'll see. Well, unless you're 15, of course, but we know 15 is not My exactly thanks. the norm. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolf's available. Bardolf. It's all right. Oh, I did deal with him. Uh, he's, uh, I disarmed him for one. There we go, I had a mini joke. I had to. Okay, uh, it, it's, it's the easiest joke to make in the world. So it's, it's the best joke too. <laughs> Hi. What? Sid seems like he was a great father. I just wish oil. he would be here today. Should be enough to keep us going. Hey! <laughs> Scared you. How do, Master Sid? Apparently, I need your help. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But? But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I. Apparently, we knew an old man in Martha's vest, maybe I'd help. Here. I gladly like spend all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one. Hey, I was right. Yeah, Bernard. 
Call him Bertrand, not but not uh, not uh, Bertrand. Bernard, there we go. And he is a friend of the cause. He is. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardo. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Least I could do. All right, well, I guess we'll head over there then and go talk to Martha. Side quests? No. We wouldn't be too lucky. Oh, there's actually a thing here, isn't there? So let's do the hunt while we're out. Hey, Marta. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Uh, I need your carpenter, like the only one who's here. You seem to be doing a lot better than last time. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Cressida. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there then. Okay, hopefully he's good and nothing bad has happened to him. Cressida. Oh yeah, he has gone quite a distance, hasn't he? Oh, that's a whole location too. Okay, right. Let's get on this, shall we? All right. Let's get Ambrosio out and we'll make our way over there, I guess, without uh, oh, without Jill or Toggle because neither of them are here. Oh, no, Toggle's here. Hey, buddy. Hey. You become a, a friend of a thing now, don't you? You become a big strong boy. <laughs> yeah. Look at the sack guy. He's like, oh, I've got to go on my predetermined route and just stand there for two seconds and move somewhere else. I love, I love the stack guy. He's so great. All right. Fingers crossed I should be able to use some bows here. There we go. Hey. Just teleported into existence, didn't you? Fly it's been a while since I've used uh, Ambrosia. At least a couple of parts. Right. I do like that the game doesn't put us too much out in the open world. But you know, it's always good to be out and actually doing some exploration out in this world. I don't think we're going to have like too difficult post-game content, but I guess we'll see as we go along, really. Uh, I don't even know what it is post-game content. I, I, I would assume, considering how the story is being laid out, it might be a Final Fantasy IX situation where you can do most of that before you finish. Oh, hey, Bernard. What's happening over here? Oh, right, the lad who saved my wow, you remember that from five years ago? <laughs> to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? I've been over time skip in this game ten years. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. Hmm. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. I want me to go kill some people. I'm fine with that. Well, not people, but animals. Well, that there is Cressida. Oh, yeah. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. Oh. What was it destroyed well, by? I, I came up here hoping to visit. Like, just the blight maybe, maybe they abandoned it? To get across. Only a fine maybe it's a place touch topic for him. With fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Yeah, sure, why not? It's the least I can do. Well, yeah, I mean, you would fix that bridge ages ago, but we also saved you then. But yeah, I'll, I'll get on it, why not? I'd be much obliged if you could rid the old place of nasties. Let's get on it. Right, we got a new move set, don't we? So let's get that on. Uh, we're gonna get we'll take Phoenix off because we've been using it for so long. Oh, we should use a new one. So we've got Punchy, and we've got Fisty. Uh, 
I mean, that means we have no more like lock on. This but... shouldn't take long. Oh, that's cool. Okay, right. I just did. Oh, we've got another limit break bar. Oh, I really should like do actual upgrades to my stuff, shouldn't I? <laughs> I just been holding off. Okay, I didn't realize, realize how good it was. Uh, Hugo a little bit when he becomes uh, Titan. That doesn't have a blocking work then. Gone. No, it actually just blocks all damage. That's great. I just realized that. It wasn't it wasn't exactly perfect, but it wasn't too bad either. Nice. Big damage. Done. No oh, more enemies still. Okay, Bernard, this might have been a little bit of a big fish. Cheer! Having to be a fucking dragon here. Uh oh. Again, I feel like Vudas is the thing we're always gonna have on because of that grapple move. This is so good. Nice, we blocked it, I think. I don't know what I did there, but I did something. Titan's moves there's something I'm gonna have to get used to, but I quite like the idea of having like QTEs for it, that's cool. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a semi pro mode. Right, here we go, semi pro. I can't see anything! Okay, that breaks if it gets hit by too much. But you can parry with the shield, that's cool. Whoa! Okay, I really like, I might, <laughs> I really like the parry thing of Titan. That's really cool. I don't know if you could actually use it for powering, but that's great that you can. Wow. Okay. I might honestly at this point upgrade Gouge because I've been using it so Should much. It. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. But I also want to get tied into ability though, so. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. Yeah. We did it. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials. Oh, so it was actually, it wasn't actually that long ago then. Oh, 13 years is still a pretty long time, but left. I thought Burner was like 60 or something. Well, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. Hmm. I'm sorry. So, yeah, it's a terrible situation. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That's good. Happy Bernard got a chance to see his family, well, see his family home get reclaimed by us. That should take care of Mid's little list. Yeah. 
Get her head back before she thinks of anything else. Yeah, I, hope she, I hope she gives a certain call her grappling hook or something. I also want to spoil his village a little bit. Yeah, there's a whole thing over here, isn't there? Cressida. It's little stuff like, like not making me go back to uh, Martyr's Rest is quite nice of the game to do. Oh, you need to have where to go, Toggle. No, we can't. Hey. I barely pet you in the last few parts, so I'm going to try and make up for it now. You're right, boy. You're right, boy. Yeah. Best boy. Okay. Uh, there's definitely going to be a, a HUD thing here. Like, probably a big old dragon or something. But not right now, anyway. There's a lot of fallen runes around here, huh? I didn't realise just how much of it was in this area. Maybe that's why Annabelle is so interested in it. Because she just grew up around it. Oh, here we go. We knew, we knew, we knew she was Sid, Sid's daughter. Okay. Right, before we leave, uh, we are going to go do that. Uh, quest which was in uh, Muddy Murder and what was it called Muddy Murder uh, was in the Southern Week's uh, Hawk's Cry Cliff apparently the Southern Reaches a bit did it say exactly where it was or just Southern Reaches I guess we'll have a look around here there is a path down there so maybe that path will be open now have a look. Have a look. I mean, the path would be here, but it's blocked. Okay, if I was Muddy Bloody Murder, where would I be? Somewhere. Well, there's this area. I mean, we, we, uh. Good girl. Fucked up that place a little bit. Well, Hugo did a good job of that as well, to be fair. Okay. Is that it there? It's like a big pile of goop over here. It might just be a dragon, though. No, that's a dragon, okay. If I was bloody murder, where would I be? Maybe around here? too small of an area though for there to be an enemy around here. Uh, what the hell's this? You deserve a rest. Huh. This might be a side quest, maybe? Okay, I don't know where this is. Let's have a look on the map. I'm not too worried about looking these up because it's just it's in the general area. It's not gonna be a spoiler, really. This was not worth going back to find out. <laughs> It's somewhere in this area. Probably somewhere I haven't been to yet. So we'll have a look. Once this website stops loading. I want to ride my choker bow. Oh, oh, over here, I guess. Is this it? Or am I just walked into a bad area? Oh no, this is it. Apparently it's around here somewhere. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, right. That might be it over there. Oh no, we just came out of the ground. Oh, he's got lots of hands. Flan Prince. Rank A? Uh oh. Might be a Rank S in this game, to be fair. Yeah. Well done, Uh Okay. If I 
both your magic moves. Might not have been the best idea to get a... Uh... Okay, there we go, nice. It might not have been the best idea just to bring a new moveset to this fight. We got this. We are doing pretty good damage to be fair overall. Dual cast. <laughs> oh no 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 Clive okay, well, we're fine Ah Yeah that shield's great <laughs> I love that shield could block it or not I, I guess I couldn't god damn it god damn it uh... there we go right. hey how you doing let's go here all right so this time Togo uh, we're gonna we're gonna use Titan skilled a lot more uh, the issue is that that magic attack isn't the best attack in the world. I'm not the biggest fan of it. That flan, or well, mainly all the flans moves it is uh, magic attacks. Uh, I kind of want to save up for this to be fair. But then there's stuff like gouge and stuff I haven't even leveled up once. Or deadly embrace. I don't know what leveling up will do though. I don't. This is the, that, that's mastering. That's not leveling up. That's just mastering the, the ability. And I don't know what that means. Does that mean I can just have it equipped on any icon, maybe? I don't know. Quick details. Oh! Oh! oh. What? Is this claw range? Wait, it's follow up. Strike speed. Increases hits. Well, I barely use a good wheel, to be fair, anyway. Neither, I don't use that either, really. There's no point looking at that right now. Increases bolts. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, duration has increased. Yeah, that's not that useful to be fair anyway. This is a very good ability. Uh. Oh my god, a, okay, I just discovered the whole thing. Yeah, this is a very complicated combat system, huh? That's fine, we'll get used to it. We'll work it out as we go along. I'm sure the game will give me plenty of ability points for me to mess around with. Or say it now, I don't know. It might not. Time to fight. No, 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 no we're not fighting a trigger by this. Oh, 
Right, there it is. It's down here. He's waiting for us. Thanks, girl. Hey, buddy. Nothing. Avoid them, Clive. There you go. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Nice. Okay, but big damage in. I wanted to try and use the lightning so I can then use gals on this move. Like, get away, get away, get away. What's the jaw cast? My Phoenix abilities, but it's fine. I'm gonna try and use different things occasionally. I got anxiety is very important. To be fair. Nice, we can stop him from doing another attack. You can parry that. Okay, hands down, get out of the way. It's that move, yep. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, what did Tom was going all back and forth again? Look at him. That was thirty-five hundred damage. I tried to block, but I wasn't tying. Oh god. Alright, sit down, say goodnight. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, I died, I died once, but that was... That was, that's, that's besides the point. Well, that's a lot of uh, ability points, and that's a, a lot of EXP as well. Nice. We got some money. 
We got some gelatinous mass which might actually be used for. Whatever it was. It was a flan. Have you not played Final Fantasy XIV, Clive, the critically acclaimed MMORPG and the award winning expansion Heaven Sword that you can play up to level 60 for free? It's great. <laughs> right, okay, uh, we're going back to hide, hide out, aren't we? Hide away. Hide away. We should give it another name because the hideaway suggests that we are hiding for something. Which we are, technically, but we're also making a big impact on the world. Oh, in an essence, I guess. Right. Let's go see how she's doing. Also, is this updated now? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, we should go to... Yeah, we'll go to the uh, blacksmiths after this. To get our new wristband. I like that we just bought one and then haven't used it since. Well, we have been using it, but it's just been completely sold almost immediately. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? No, I'm good. All right, Clive. You've all done then. Kinda, yeah, I guess. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? <laughs> Thorne and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank so you for Bernie doing this. It, we can get to work. What are you doing here, anyway? <laughs> I can't wait. You're actually boarding an airship. Quest complete. There. Yeah. Getting to work. Alright. I'm okay, getting a lot of the better potation points for that wind up. Okay, well, thanks. I appreciate it. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's feeling. No, no, it's not, Clive, because you see there's John side quests now available. Oh my lord. Okay, well, we got some side quests to do as well before we do anything else. Uh, let's go down and see. Uh, we'll go see how Jill's doing first, and then we'll do the side quests because we've got to go to Near Fernby anyway. Hey. Uh, Clive. Is she okay? Taya. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Oh. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. Oh, Toggle. The shelves. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Toggle. Hmm. He must have found something. Toggle's powerful. Also, hello, Rodriguez the Physica. That's, that is your real name, of course. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Taya has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. Hmm? I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Will you survive? I know, but there are as many die as recover. What do you mean? Really worth So we're removing the bear's mark? Is that painful? That. You know full well what we're fighting for. I mean, there's a chance that Clive could have died from doing it too. Than one day bearers can walk among others as equals. Oh. But until that day, a brand is a burden. I never really know how the brand burden. was added, I guess. In order to go undetected. I just assume it was like a tattoo, but if it's actually dangerous. a thing, then... But it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. Yeah, it's their choice though, in the yeah. end, if they want to do it or not. I still wish there was some other way, but griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry, I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would Barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. It does seem desperate. Yeah. I guess I can go do this for you, Just grabbing you some need. bits and pieces. We need them. You, you'll go. I mean, yeah. Oh, thank you. You told me your woes. No I feel like I kind of have to like after that. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll just be a kind of a dick. By ammonia, oh, pain. Well, just ease it's their pain a little bit. If you know where to look. Okay, I'll get you. Fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosario. Oh. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Okay. Wow, 
that's one down. Okay, next quest is, is five over here, actually. Not too far away. Uh, I've got to find out if there's any quests uh, actually on the board. Let's go do that while we're here, too. How are you doing? Here you go. No, no Always quests in the alignment reports. Yeah. Just quests over here. I love that they introduce this whole alignment report mechanic, and then there's this out of quests of just in hide <laughs> away. I think it'll become a lot more prevalent later on down the line when we get other regions. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Oh shit! Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault. Yeah, some of the brands look like they were harder to remove than others. Like Clive's looks, for the most part, still stable, but some of them are a lot more. This was deep. days ago. I don't know why I though. Should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that they know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. Hmm. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them, what risks they might take because of the things I've said. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go and sort it out. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. I, I see we got some sad side quests to do at the moment. To trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the dragon. I'm allergic to darker side quests apparently because I had to sneeze again. More than that, I'm afraid. It's because my allergies are acting up. To go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Yeah. Speaking of, let's do that. We'll do these quests first, and then we'll go and see the Torgal thing afterwards, and that will be where we end it for the episode, likely. Let's head over to... Oh, before we go, just in case there's any fighting, let's go and uh, craft our upgrade for our weapon, shall we? Hey, buddy. Clive. What do you want? <gasps> Ooh! Grindstone. And when he lifts his fist beneath them was not found naught but dust. I can have me. Book of Barrows. They're different to the other books, of course. Book 11, Book of... Yeah. Okay, I'll get it. Why not? Scratches, right? Probably would have been nicer to have earlier on, huh? Ah, I don't have enough of... Uh... Scarletite. Yeah. Scarletite was pretty rare to come by. I'll see if I can buy it from over here, though. Uh, from Caron. Is it business? Or play? No. Is that all? Right, let's go. We got two things to go and find. First one is here, near the village of Amber, to go get some anesthesia medicine. So people don't, are not as uh, in pain after becoming a bearer. Oh, after losing their brand anyway. Yeah, so I didn't actually know that the me method, like the medical treatment for the brands was so difficult. I just assumed that not for those herbs. people didn't do it because they thought it would be... Uh, painful, but I didn't realize like, that you lead to death. This man is my middle name, Clive! Good shooting, Clive. Yeah, good job. There you go. Eleven bolts! Okay, that'll do it. Ow. Dicks. Yeah, 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 Clive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Days. Get out of it, my lord! <laughs> yeah, they, they, they did not see that coming, huh? They didn't see it coming. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. It's like lavender. Oh no, Clive! You bought that lavender, but I thought it was called ammonia. The infirmary stock for a while. Let go, give me like a sketch or something. What it looked like. Rodrigo's mind at ease. Yeah, fingers crossed. Right, next one. 
That was quite a simple side quest, to be honest. But this one should be a little more complicated because we're going to go and look for Curse Wakers. And chances are they are not in the most ideal of situations. Oh, yeah. That, that, yeah. I would harbour a guess to say they are not. Alright, come on, let's go! Yeah, Care Norvard has been chilling out there for the last five years since the last destruction. I, I, I still don't know how I feel about the time skip, because at first it was a cool thing uh, that the, the game actually skipped all that time and we didn't really know what happened. But now it just kind of feels like, what, all this stuff was five years ago, wouldn't Hugo have at least move on a little bit? No, he's been hunting us down for five years. I think the five years is a little bit unbelievable in terms of how long it's taken us to find the other crystals. Maybe like a year would have worked better, or two years. But then there's also the fact they built the, that whole hideout. But I don't think it would have taken five years to do, maybe one or two. I think the, the game devs are underestimating how long it would take to build something like that. But it, it's not a bad thing, I just kind of wish it wasn't such a long time. I guess you kind of needed to explain how the Empire was able to hold Sam Black for so, uh, Crystal Dominion for so long, maybe. Cool. I'm glad you're in one piece. What happened here? Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing We're here? We called here, apparently. Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Yeah. Well, what? what, what? Only the, the person didn't... The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll just beat them up. All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. For noticing uh, Clive's beard. Please hurry. Uh, when get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. And the scar that's happen. below his neck, it doesn't look like it has gone further than I thought that's it did. It. It's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. Yeah, now let me deal with this first, then we'll see. Also, it might be the longer it's on, the harder it is to remove, because the brand would get bigger as you grow older too, and the skin kind of stretches and grows as well. So maybe it's the case of because Clive has had it so long, his mark is bigger than others. I don't know, no, that's just a theory. Ow! What an asshole. Ow! Okay, dudes, come on. I knew you were doing that. Caught it. Bruiser, you're about to be one of these bruises, buddy. Say goodnight. That attack was like wasted basically. There we go. Fucking just smashed him into the ground. 
didn't even get to live any longer. I had to say goodnight, I guess. Oh, and we need uh, clams, apparently, for the uh, arm guard. I might actually, between episodes, Who are you? try and work out how to get the stuff for that. And maybe just get it then. Oh, hey! A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no oh. worse than another. No, 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 come Perhaps. on, you can better to hide out of us and have Chocobo no, soup. To give you another choice. Yeah. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. That's what Sid would say. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you. You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Well, I guess we should head back then to command. That's both of those quests sorted out. When they're done, we'll go see how to, with the toggle situation, then we'll leave it there. This is a nice pace for these episodes where I have a, a part of all the very important plot stuff in the MSQ, and then I've got a part for the side quest as well. I like doing it like this. Sid, welcome back. Welcome back. I stole this. Well, I thought she wasn't going to say anything. Now I have to read the dialogue. You left. If oh. I just waited a little longer, I might have been able to. Do I mean, that's the same with me when it comes to two-step verification with codes. It's like I you got an email. No, I didn't. Decisions. If you wait like four more minutes, flower, it will, it will arrive. Some of these websites are slower than others. The right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole. And you, after them, woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged one that wants to try and save as many bears as possible, which isn't a bad thing. Look at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. Oh, hey. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. His uh, mark has healed very well in this we light. You can barely see it. Because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. You think you said that we don't yeah, have like a so magical right. uh, paint for uh, the, the mark where we can just hide it on ourselves? We all know how much bravery that takes. Like is this... Cole. I mean, maybe it's like a, a reminder of the I life that you once had. doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. It's not a very good way to hide yourself though, because like I said before, the mark is still yeah, where yeah, the bearer yeah. mark was. It doesn't take a genius to work out, oh, you had your marker moved. I sometimes wonder but maybe there's, there's also the case of... Alongside oh. the others, then ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play. And I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. Yeah. You will. In time. In time. There we go. Well, there we go. We learned a little bit more about the curse breakers and their lives and how they deal with it. Meanwhile, we got Rising Flame. I'm pretty sure I have that. That called the Breath of Fire. Cause hell yeah, that's a great name for a move. Mine to be a Breath of Fire 4, which is a great game. And I highly suggest if you haven't seen that playthrough, check it out. It's a good time. And then the, this quest as well. Hey buddy, I got the old, old medicine for you. you. Didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Uh, a wild herb that when brewed into an infusion can dull the pain of a barber's blade. I guess it is the right plant then. Only the usual. Oh yes, this is it, and more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That's the idea. That is unless I. You'll do fine. Taya trusts you, which means I trust you. 
the hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Yes, yeah, so Tasha was doing the bear mark and mover before this, but teaching more people about it is a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. So it's the music, apparently. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. Oh. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. Oh, I guess that's the sort of from moving their way mark, right? Pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb. Knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. No, but it's not a nice thing, Clive, no knowing that the years. operation could fail before they even try. What do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. Yeah. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? What? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. It's an interesting uh, discussion on the doctors, the, the, the surgery person, surgeons like own dealings with this stuff it isn't easy for them either they they are also that your life is on their is on uh is on is on their hands and they need to make sure that you're fine join it and it's a scary thought uh yeah i'm feeling a lot better thanks to taya's remedies but she insists i rest you should you shouldn't even leave, really. Today, Clive visited his phone and had me just the last facial on his left forearm. I cleaned this issue in and showed him to rest of the arm so they could heal. But on hour later, he leaves even got another mission. It's been the hugest time he's disobeyed my, my instructions. The next time he's come to me, treatment, I'm, going, I'm tying him to the bed. <laughs> no! You can't tie down the Clive Meister. That's the new name he has, apparently. It's my name, the Clive Meister. John Fire Lizard. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. I mean, you got you wanted me to come. Dire Wolf, yes. Come again. Wait, what is this? It's, it must be good if it's here. This is combo damage by five percent. That's five percent. It's not the big, big enough oh, difference. Yeah. If it was like ten percent, I might use it, but five percent is too small. I think. I'm not a percentage person. I don't do numbers or math games and these sorts of video games, but 5% does not sound like the best upgrade for me. I feel like if it was more than that, I would use it more. Yeah, I look like, oh, hey, you got more stuff for me. Soldiers with their ruby stain Stick steeds fed to the fire I know you would do that was a very nice tune, but I was messing around the lens flare. It looks really weird. <laughs> I like it though. No, 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 no. No, 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 don't eat it. It's bad. Okay, anyway, hey. That was my boy Torgor doing. There he is. Where have you been? Give him pet. I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgor. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Come from the northern regions, didn't we? My father. Brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. Yeah. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. It's Fenra. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound. It's some, it would explain how he survived through this gate. 
an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. <gasps> In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian of the ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on. We know that Tolum cast magic, his he can name cast. Yeah! Was Fenrir. Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. You all thought Fenrir is like an aren't you? Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen. So, in, in the past, the when Joe Shiva, was doing the adorable little animation of the northern holding up Torgor's hand. Yeah, that would be it, One wouldn't it? Awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other as Fenrir. You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. Oh. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. He's a good boy. That's Just why. His master needed him the most. I like that Joe was kind of his mentor, that's cool. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Bastards would have been for it. Yeah. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. Yeah, he's his own doggo. He's got his own power. A frost wolf. Yeah. It had only to be unlocked. So it's not an icon there, it's just a writer as a frost wolf. Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Yeah. Fuck. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. What? Your nuts? How are you alive? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, hey, Vid. I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. Okay. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. I don't know what that's about, but we'll find out next time what mid is talking. Oh no, or not, or we're just gonna cut right into this, never mind. <laughs> what are you doing, mid? I get. This is darkness. Sometime later. This has brought me over here without my consent. This is non consensual story progression, and I'm not, I'm not for it. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Brilliant. What are you going to use it for? It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. Yeah. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. He is already an infinitely I'm better cat than <laughs> Cindy was. I'm sorry, I just love it. I love hating on Fort 15. It just fills me with passion. It's the only way I can deal with that game <laughs> existing. Is by spreading hate about it. <laughs> That's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Oh, we'll find out next time, won't we, Clive? Clive? I'll pay you back, I promise. All right. Thanks from before, son. That was a good deed you did me. Only right I do you one in return. Okay. Though I did wonder if I'd bit off more than I could chew when Mid showed me her plans for the place. If she hadn't been there to tell me what to do, I wouldn't have known where to start. <laughs> Well, you did a good job, I think. We have everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! I mean, you guys mentioned an airship, and I expect an airship, so good good, good luck, guys. But, with that exciting idea along the way, I'm looking forward to finding out where to go with that, but also other things in this world. So, with that, and with Hugo losing his arms because we took him off, we took him away from him, uh, we shall continue next time in the world of anesthesia then and final Fantasy 16 goodbye looking forward to seeing what happens in the near future